Imagine taking a flight without a pilot. A Boston company is working right now to put autonomous planes in the sky. The founder of Merlin says his company is prioritizing innovation and safety with artificial intelligence technology. It sounds like something out of a sci-fi movie or something, but as WBZ's Paul Burton shows us, planes are already flying hands-free from takeoff to touchdown. The air is still quite dangerous. So if we can get humans out of harm's way, particularly for our DOD customers, that's a really important mission for us. Most people have heard of autonomous cars, but what about autonomous planes? Matt George is founder and CEO of Boston-based company Merlin. Since 2018, they've been developing cost-effective takeoff to touchdown airplanes. Merlin is the leading developer of autonomy for very large airplanes like this. Uh, the best way to think about what we're building is a pilot, just not a human one to enable our customers and partners to go fly their airplanes in, in pretty new and interesting ways, including some eventually uncrewed stuff in the future. Inside the Merlin Pilots Lab on South Street in Boston, folks are busy developing new state-of-the-art technology that takes the skills of the human pilot and translates them into AI software. George says the goal is to help tackle the pilot shortage in America. The Air Force is our largest customer. They're short about 2,000 pilots a year uh, of seats that they wish they could fill, but, but can't fill. And now we're transitioning into the age where autonomy and AI is going to play a really important part in aviation and in aviation safety and allowing folks to use the sky in, in some new and novel ways. They have 170 employees working at the frontier of aviation with plans to expand and proud to be here in Boston. And, you know, historically, Boston was the tech hub. So I'm really proud of the fact that we're starting to bring some of these frontier, really hard technologies, both in biotech, in aerospace, in nuclear with Commonwealth Fusion, back to Boston. Now, all this high tech doesn't mean you're going to head to Logan anytime soon and see an autonomous flight. In fact, owner George says there's no telling how long it will take before folks start boarding flights without pilots. I wouldn't put a, wouldn't put a number on it, but I, I'm certainly not betting on showing up to my Delta or American Airlines flight and seeing nobody, nobody, nobody aboard the flight deck. Human pilots are still a really important part of that future. We're just bringing autonomy in to go augment those folks. In Boston, I'm Paul Burton, WBZ News.